Hello everybody, I'm Amanda and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about photography. I actually started getting into photography uh, quite a few years ago. I started my own OregonCoastExperience.com travel blog where I was sharing my photos and my stories about my trips to the Oregon coast. And then a couple of years ago, I actually self-published a photo book. I actually went through Lulu um, and I, I liked how they turned out and I still have people buying these uh, photo books. I, I wanted to be able to display my original images so that people can see some of the beauty of the Oregon coast. And I also love nature and I love the beach. Uh, I grew up in Southern California and then I moved to Oregon. And so whenever I get the chance, I am always going to the coast, even though it's kind of far away. And I would really like to get into freelance photography. As you can see, this book mostly has uh, photos. And then I decided hey, why don't I use some of these images and make an Oregon Beach calendar? And this can be kind of a nice gift for some of my family. So back in 2018, I did this calendar and I used some different um, photos that I had taken from beaches around the Oregon coast. And I used them, uh, oh, it's my birthday month, <laughs> July. And I used them to make this really nice calendar and then I bought some copies and I gave them to some of my family members and some people bought calendars from me and now they have these stunning images and even though um, I had a couple of copies left even though this is an old calendar I kept it because the images the photos are just so pretty I just wanted to keep them. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with those images, but uh, they're just way too pretty to throw out, so I just kept them. And also, it's a great way for me to show people my work. It's a, a nice way to have my own portfolio. So if you're looking into getting into photography, I would suggest, you know, making some photo books or calendars or some ways to uh, display uh, your work so people can know what your niche is, so people can know what you like. And if you go to my website, amandasoaps.com, and you go to the book section, you can still buy this nice Oregon Beach a photo book there. I also um, decided that I wanted to go with a company that actually published um, photo books and it was actually their niche and I wanted to make sure that the people coming to the website were not only photographers uh, publishing their portfolios and, and photo books and things like that but that the buyers would be looking for photo books and so I found Blurb and I started an account there just recently and I actually started my first magazine. So I'm excited about that. It's called Beyond the Horizon and I don't have copies of that yet, but I am going to be buying some copies and uh, I'm going to show you what the magazine looks like. But if you go to the link in the description box, that will take you to my blurb account and it will take you to the magazine you'll find it you can actually search through the pages uh, not all of them because you have to buy the magazine to see the whole thing but you can flip through the pages and see some of the images and the magazine I started is actually an inspirational magazine it showcases some of these really amazing photos that I've taken of nature and of the beach and just various um, beautiful nature shots, scenic views. And beside each picture, so like this picture would be, um, this page would be a picture and then the next page would actually have poetry that I wrote that was inspired by the photo that is on the page. 
And so I thought that was kind of a good way to get people to know about my poetry as well as my photos. And the photos tell a story. Basically, when you're you're starting out, you that's what you want. You want your photos to express how you feel, what you like. Like they say, a picture is worth a thousand words, and that is very true. Pictures can say a lot of things that we may feel, but we can't really express it ourselves. And it allows other people to see what we love and to feel things from it. So my whole niche is to inspire peace and happiness. So that's what I want my images to inspire. I want them to make people feel like they want to travel and I want them to feel peaceful and just to feel happy and thankful, you know, for what they have, um, maybe even in their own backyard. And that's what I'm kind of showcasing here. And so that's kind of what I'm doing. And I also started a Shutterstock account. So there's a link to my portfolio there. I also wanted to use some of these nice images to design some products. And I've always wanted to have my own greeting card line. So I found out I can do that. And I'll talk more about where I'm doing that at and how to start your own free online store where you can use your own uh, images to create products and design products. But I hope this gives you a little bit of information in case you're interested in making your own photo books or starting your own freelance photography journey like I am. And so I hope that you enjoy this video. You can subscribe to my channel. You can click the like button and share this with other people. And I hope you just have a really awesome day. Thanks for watching.